Hi, friends. Welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul. Are you a fan? Are you a Lear fan? That's right, folks. We are going to be building, without a doubt, one of the most unique airplanes ever designed, and that is the Lear fan. History of the Lear fan is that it was designed by Bill Lear, who created the Learjet. He died in 1979, but his wife vowed to continue the build, and she did. And Learjet wound up building three of the Lear fans. They had a top speed of about 425 miles an hour. They were largely made of composite. But the fa company could not get certification from the FAA, and as a result, it led to the bankruptcy of Learjet. So only one exists, and it hangs in a museum. So we are going to go ahead and build this amazing aircraft, and I've got a shot of it here in color to give you a better idea of what it'll look like. So we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing. So let's get started with the unboxing. All right, friends, so starting with our unboxing, this co kit comes in two boxes. We've got our, our longer box here, which contains all the plywood, and a smaller box, which we'll get into it a little bit, which has all of the balsa pieces. And one of the nice things about this kit is this long piece that you see right here. This is actually the base for a stand. And when I lift this up here, you can see the, we have these pieces here. These pieces that you see here, these are the ones that uh, ultimately uh, make up the stand. So really nice. We're going to put that together, and I'll show you what that looks like and you'll be able to see that on the video. So putting that aside, let's take a look at the other pieces. Right off the bat, we can see here that we have some really nice, very well cut, uh, laser cut pieces, and they just fall right out, which is always the great sign of some, uh, of some uh, wonderful uh, laser cutting. Um, so we have this here. This is, uh, these pieces are largely making up the, uh, the fuselage, the formers for the fuselage. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm gonna carefully lift this up. Whoop, everything's falling out, which is great. Uh, we also have some other pieces here. Now, we're looking here at uh, some of the wheel well pieces uh, because this will have retracts. And uh, we, uh, oops. And some of these pieces also make up some of the string, stringers and formers. So uh, we, we have a great selection of some very well cut uh, parts, as you can see, and very nicely done. And then we have some of the smaller plates as well. But I, I, the laser cutting is just stunning on this, folks. Absolutely stunning, as you can see here. Just really, 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 really well done. Very well done. All right. Not much to unbox here. Like I said, it's largely just the laser cut stuff. Looks like we have some, oh, we do have some, some stringers as well. They do provide some stringers, and that's going to be for the fuselage more than likely. Uh, oh, and some balsa pieces. We do have some laser cut balsa pieces here as well. Very nice. Simple, not too complicated in terms of the kit. Uh, I don't think this is going to take very long, probably a couple months, maybe about four months tops, I'd say, from beginning to end. Let's take a look at some of the uh, balsa pieces that are laser cut. We have another box here. Now, this particular kit, initially, from what I understand, they had a, um, a kit that did not include a lot of the glass pieces like the windows and things of that nature. But this does have the, uh, the windows, as you can see here. It also includes the fiberglass rear uh, cowling. Very nicely made. Nice fiberglass. Very, very, not, a, a, not a flimsy fiberglass at all. Really well made there. In addition, uh, we also have some additional glass pieces. Now, they actually give you, this is what's really neat, they actually give you the passenger windows. So if you want to actually put them in, they are there. And they are also very nicely done. And you get two sets of those. And then, of course, we have all of the balsa pieces also laser cut. And much like the plywood pieces, they are... Very well done. Now, before we get into the into the um, uh, balsa pieces, now I keep in mind I bought this kit back in 2014, so it's been sitting on the shelf for 11 years. Uh, but they do give you a CD of all of the building uh, uh, photos and things of that nature. However, since most of us don't use CDs anymore, you can go through and go right to the website, and you can download a full color photo of all of the builds, as you, uh, all the pieces that make up the build, as you can see here, 
and uh, and print it out accordingly. They also do include in the kit a black and white version of the assembly uh, manual. Uh, now, I will tell you, uh, this is a little bit better because it does provide the pictures along with the build, makes things a little simpler. But both are good, very well detailed, uh, and I'm very happy about that. And we'll be doing a, a, a conversion to electric, and I found this wonderful article in Flying Models here that we're going to go ahead and actually convert the Lear fan to electric. So it's actually set up for nitro, uh, but you can easily set up for electric. Now, getting back to our pieces here, we're doing the unboxing. We have uh, all of the laser-cut wood. Also very nicely done. I'm not going to separate the rubber bands. I'm sure the pieces will just start to fall out. But you can see here, very nicely cut. And that's always a plus. I love that. Even the gussets. Look at the gussets there, folks. That is really nice. Very nice there. Now, one of the great things that they provide in this kit that most manufacturers do not provide at all if you look at this piece, I don't know how well you can see it on camera. I'll try to do the best I can. This piece right in here, look at the crazy shape, the sawtooth shape. This piece, among others, are the laser-cut skins that go over the fuselage. How great is that? Most of the time, manufacturers don't provide that, but they do because of this uh, very unique jet-like shape of the fuselage. So that's a big plus right there. And we've got some other, oh, yeah, these are the other skins as well. If you can see the outline here, um, you can see what I'm talking about. But that'll make more sense as we go along with our build. So let's set this aside. And we've got some other laser cut parts down in here as well. Like I said, I'm just trying to handle them very gingerly. Don't want them to fall out just yet until we get them labeled. It's very nicely done. Really, just really well done. I love laser cutting. You have to understand, folks, I've been in this hobby for 47 years now, and I've seen it go from die cuts to laser cut, and laser cutting nowadays is just stunning. It's absolutely meticulous. Very well done. And some other laser cut parts as well. All right, I don't want to separate them out because, like I said, I do want to keep the parts intact until I'm ready for them. But, folks, I can tell you right off the net right now, it's, it's a fantastic kit. It does come with plans. I'm not going to pull the plans out. Just know that, like any other kit, it comes with plans, full, a full set of plans. And, and this is a really wonderful kit. You've got the building instructions. You've got the plans. Yeah, I think you do have to buy some of the additional wood, like the stringers and a few other things as well. Uh, but outside of that, it, 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 uh, this kit is just fantastic. I really like it a lot. So uh, you can go ahead and check out Top Notch Products. I'll put the link in the description, and you can uh, check it out there. They have some other uh, aircraft as well in addition to the Lear fan, so check them out. I think you'll like them a lot. They were really great when they got it to me, and they're still in business. Now, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to build this, uh, this stand, get this thing built, and then we're going to go ahead, and you can see how awesome the stand is because not only can you use it when you're building, you can use it when you're at the field. So let's get started with the stand. folks the cradle is done and she looks great she's going to be really really helpful when we do this build and she'll be helpful for any other fuselages i have that are around all right folks that's it for right now in the next video we're going to start the build so more to come <laughs>